So hello everybody and welcome to another live stream. I, as always, am Riz Grestar and this is Dragon Age Origins. We've played two sessions of this already, as in like two streaming sessions, you know, and we're going to jump into our third. So I did a little, I'll just hit resume so I can talk a little while it's loading. I, I came back just to do some brief leveling up, so I leveled up um, Liliana and Morrigan. I think Alistair... I don't think he had a level waiting, I think I just had those two. And then I messed a little bit with their tactics. I don't know exactly- I don't know what's good yet with tactics, I'm still learning how this whole thing works. I didn't do anything with Ilandrea, because I figured I'll probably be controlling her for the most part. So maybe I should look at that more. Either way, uh, Morrigan. When I leveled her up, I actually gave her the, the heal spell. Now, I don't know if that's good, <laughs> but healing always seems important. I feel like we lose a lot of health very quickly. I mean, the way that fights seem to me is if I don't do the cheese thing where I, like, lure people away from the group with my ranged enemies and then attack them, you know, like, try to get them one or two at a time. If I don't do that, it seems like it's just a mad dash trying to see, like, a test of endurance, you know, um, who beats the other faster. <laughs> and so... Um, hopefully, maybe having a heal will be better, and if, uh, if they get under half health, she'll heal them. Maybe that's too high a health pool, but whatever, Morgan can be busy healing. I don't know. Um, I don't think I changed anything with Liliana. With Alistair, I changed it from ha had activate shield cover to shield defense here. It's, I, it's hard to tell, like, both of the skills basically just said, like, yeah, it kind of protects against ranged attacks, but it didn't give me, like details <laughs> like there weren't numbers to compare and there weren't like different adverbs or whatever that were used and so i'm hoping that shield defense may be better than shield cover even though shield cover is a later one they're in different like trees a little bit so anyway we'll try that if it seems like he's doing terribly all of a sudden i can switch back but yeah hello mo and hello jolteon welcome the two of you to the stream so what we were going to do here i stopped in front of this board presumably so i could read it and get some of these quests going so um Caravan down. Sister Geisel, I don't know, post. Geisel, whatever. Unfortunate news has arrived that the, that the Darkspawn have extended their incursion into areas previously thought safe for travel. A runner from a border caravan brings word that they unknowingly passed into infested territory and were being tracked by several unseen creatures. He was dispatched to seek help and does not know the fate of his fellows or the viability of the trade route. Travelers in the area are urged to be cautious. Any with the ability to rescue or determine the status of the troubled group will be rewarded. We'll accept that. I assume I'm going to be accepting all of these. Like, I don't think the, the mercenary thing was for me. Um, because they were kind of sleazy and scumbaggy, it seemed. Um, but this stuff, this should just be like helping people out with issues, you know? Brothers and sons. Sister Rana posts on behalf of her neighbors. The Darkspawn incursions to the south have made for difficult communication, even through official means. The relations of the conscripts to or in Company East Hill have beseeched me to deliver word of their brothers and sons. Um, I have no means to do so, but can point a traveler of stout heart in the proper direction of their recent engagement. To any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little silver they have been able to entrust to the board, as well as the sincerest gratitude of the Chantry. Cool, I'll accept that. Skin deep. A runner sends this request from Knight Commander Thames. Thames, whatever. I'm going to say Thames. While the reports I have heard no doubt suffer from exaggeration, the observed creatures assaulting Redcliffe trouble me greatly. If we are to properly combat these unnatural agents and prevent their reoccurrence, the mages bound to my service will require carefully prepared samples of flesh for study. Of course. Thereafter, should a deployment occur, we will be well briefed. Um. Oh, hey, Dane. Maybe shield defense covers only that individual where a shield cover helps other individuals only? Yeah, I don't know. Neither of the... Like, I actually was curious about that, but the description didn't seem to lend itself... Like, either of the descriptions didn't seem to lend itself to that conclusion. So, a little confused about that. Did the package arrive yet? Um, I believe it may be at my... Ha our family's house now, yes. Um, if there are skilled warriors present, I would have them gather samples from any remaining creatures as close to the presumed source as possible. The Chantry will reward this basic assistance with spiritual acknowledgement. If the request is exceeded, gold will be added, but the offer is limited fair. And then Desperate Haven. Sister Rana has heard reports of an imminent tragedy. Oh no. A runner has brought me dire news of a group of refugees fleeing the Darkspawn. They have been cornered in unfamiliar ground, fighting for their lives. The Templars are necessarily occupied and my own means are few and stretched. If someone of skill has the ability to deliver these people, I can only offer the honest gratitude of myself and of the Chantry. Hopefully that, that will be enough for the rare person we need. Cool. 
And just to check in on that kind of stuff, so let's see. So shield cover here. Um, range per. Okay, actually, let's see. Range personal, shield cover. What about shield defense? Range personal. So they're both personal range. Uh, this one just says upkeep fatigue cooldown. While in this mode, the warrior shield provides a greater chance of, of deflecting missile attacks. Shield mastery increases this bonus further. I do not have shield mastery yet. That's something farther down the line. Shield defense. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favors the shield, gaining a bonus to defense and an increased chance of, to shrug off missile attacks, but taking a penalty to attack. With shield balance, the, the attack penalty is reduced. And I do have shield balance, so less of an attack penalty. Um, with shield expertise, the defense bonus increases. With shield mastery, the defense bonus increases further. So I don't have expertise or mastery, but I do have balance. So again, the attack penalty is less so. Um, and considering this one gives you an attack penalty for the sake of that defense boost, I would think that it would offer a higher defense boost than shield cover. And so I guess it kind of depends on whether or not you're willing to sacrifice your attack a little bit, and I'm going to try it out, if nothing else. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's a difference as far as range goes. Not from what I can gather reading that. Okay, well, I certainly want to do a quest thing. Do I remember how to do those? Not really. No, I don't remember how to do these things. Do I leave? Do I want to go that way? Maybe I want to... No, why would I want to go to the world map? I'm just going to go to... Oh, shift just stops me. I held shift, like, naturally to start sprinting, you know? Um... I'm just gonna try to go to a part of the town that seems, you know, All less right. suitable I'll for one. people. That you can't answer. Like if there aren't as many people around, maybe there That's would right. be monsters kind of so thing. Smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. All right, good luck, Alistair so Morgan. Then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question. Not an academic one. That's fair. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion. And this game of yours is over. This map is oh, weird. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. Like, I didn't think that this was north. Wait, so which way do I want to go now? Uh, east? And then north? Okay, I guess this is east. And so then I want to turn left to go north again. Okay, maybe. I mean, I didn't see where those things were. It doesn't seem like there's a quest marker on the map, even though I've accepted all four of those, so I'm just going to be hoping that I'll run into something. Like, this seems... This seems like it could be a way to adventure. I don't think I've been up here before. Like what's this? Maybe this is a place. Hello. We're keeping watch should the monsters come again. I don't think Oh wait, that goes to the castle? Did I want to I probably didn't want to go to the castle. I saw at the last second after I'd clicked and everything that that supposedly goes to the castle. I'm going to go <laughs> I didn't want to be there. You're slowly starting to ship Alistair and Morrigan. Someone please stop me. Um I mean, you know, you do you. <laughs> I don't I don't see chemistry between them, but you know. Shipper's gonna ship. Yeah, I definitely have been up here. And maybe there's no point to being up here at this moment. Maybe later. What about you? You just lead to the world map? You do just lead to the world map. How do I do quests? Travel to the trader I marked on your map. Oh, maybe I do. Go to the region marked on your map. Okay. World map it is. Begun. Ah, yes. Okay, good. I mean, I assume. Let's do caravan first. Because that one... I'm pretty sure I know... What do you mean chuckles maniacally? What are you chuckling about? Oh, there's a battle on the way. Oh, no. It's puppers. All right. Uh, do I have to remember, like, get back into the swing of doing friggin' everything? Alright, you there, and me, go! Whoa, they were everywhere, I didn't know they were right behind, too. Alright. Right 
This is so, this is so many wolves. Okay, and I kind of regret giving Liliana a dagger, because it seemed like she was like exclusively using that. Oh, bugger me. There's so many things here. This is how we die. I mean, thanks for the heals. It's hard to tell where I- oh, I was on the ground, that's why it was so hard to tell where I was. Well, we lost this one. I don't know why Morgan wasn't even attacking anything right then, but that was fun. Don't worry about it. Also, read the signs in this area. Yeah, if you give Liliana a melee weapon, she'll automatically switch to it if an enemy gets close. I guess I'll take away her melee weapon then. Like, sorry. Okay. Do I need it? Except, except. I'm glad I only read these things. Like, that's the only thing that I spent that time doing. Okay. Oh, thank you for following, Mojo the Mattis. Appreciate it. Let's get rid of your dagger. You don't deserve it. Okay. Now then. What are you laughing? Were you laughing about the whole. Alistair and Morgan don't seem to have chemistry because so far they certainly don't seem to have chemistry. They're just getting on each other's nerves. The only way that you can interpret that as chemistry is when you have the whole junior high, oh, they're mean because they like you mentality. And that's not how it works. That's not real. So, anyway. Um, no daggers for the sister. Yeah, no daggers for the sister. She, <laughs> she lost her privilege. <laughs> no melee weapons for her. Okay. So, now that we've been- once we reach the gate, I'm gonna quick save so that when I inevitably die, I don't have to walk all this way again. <laughs> okay. And now, by the way, by the way, that's not to say that Alistair and Morgan can't develop chemistry over time, just so far they haven't been shown to have any, in my opinion. There we go. But also, I'm 25 years old, I've had one girlfriend ever, and I am currently single, as I have been for about eight years. Seven or eight years. So, who am I to judge with relationships, honestly? Hey, Louie man, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the host, I appreciate How it. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy, five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the tyke as our own. Wait, what? Hey, wait, no, don't kidnap children. What's going on? Explain the situation to me. Where am I? It just dropped me here. What? Meteor metal ore. This hunk of rock fell from the sky, perhaps the last remnant of another world far off in the sky. I feel like it was a bit dumb they repeated sky. If you could find a smith with the skill to temper it, dot, dot, dot. It's a Superman reference. It definitely seems like a Superman reference, but why? <laughs> I didn't think the Dragon Age had anything to do with space or aliens. It just seems like it's out of place. Okay, um... Wait, no, was that all this was? I didn't actually, so when I was traveling across the map, I wasn't looking at the game, I was reading chat. And so... <laughs> oh, this is what I thought we were at the caravan place, I was like, hmm, this is confusing. But okay. Wait, Joe's here? Oh, is that Mojo? Okay. <laughs> oh, Joe, by the way. Welcome to Superman Ravens. I am now suddenly seeing your message. I guess I'll continue on to the caravan bit. Well, there are Mass Effect references in DA and DA references in Mass Effect. What about Star Wars references? Because, let's be real here, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is probably one of their better games. <laughs> I've only played Mass Effect 2. Um, out of the Mass Effect game, so I can't say too much, but the first Knights of Old Republic at least is awesome. Alright. Here, you actually stay back this time. Do your- okay, you actually gotta activate that first. Can I hold up? Yeah, let's hold up on the others. Um, screw it, I changed my mind. Everyone attack the one that's charging us, and we will do the same to him. Alright, 
Now this bloke. That's the thing, gotta just focus them down one at a time. Go. Keep attacking! Oh my gosh. And that's... Okay, Alistair's boned. Alright. Bye. So is the issue that I gave him, like, shield defense instead of shield cover? Because now Alistair is sucking things that I don't want to say at risk of offending people. Alright. Not that. Is that not my... I guess I just quick loaded too late. Hey, Leo. Welcome to the stream. Okay, you're not super familiar with Star Wars together. Any subtle references? Oh, so there might be. You just don't know. That's fair. Okay. I'm just going to go into tactics and change Alistair's back to shield cover. Like, do I really think that's the issue? That's why he's dying? No, but just like, I might as well try to change something. So now in this, in the canon of this playthrough, the Superman thing didn't happen. The wolves thing didn't happen. Let's see how else we're going to die. Why am I dying so much? All right, it's just, oh no, it's four things. Gosh dang it. Alright. We're, we're attacking the little things first. Everybody, go. Give me frost weapons. Okay, it seems like she's attacking the same one. Now, if we could all attack that one. We're just gonna tank the big one for now. Just ignoring him, taking out the little- Ow! You oh, all wait, no. Okay, ignoring him might be a bad choice. Huh. He was surprisingly tough. Do I have- what is this? Threaten? Didn't seem to work considering he mauled me. I guess the whole thing is like, it's if they don't pass a certain check. But that was pretty rough. Thanks for following, Vlad <laughs> Vladimir Buttertuck. Sorry, I have to lean around my mic every time I want to see. Keep attacking the big one, honey. And she just stops attacking again. Air scars are scary. Oh. All right, well. Cool. So we have now been streaming for 17 minutes. Um, we have died three times trying the very first quest that was available to us from the Chanter board. This is off to a very bad start. I thank all of you who are here and are watching, and I hope that you take some enjoyment in this. But yes, I am already quite frustrated with how this is going. <laughs> Do lightning something. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe Mora can, can bloody use her own spells. How about that? All right, anyway, where are we? Here's the caravan. I guess no random encounter that time. The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Oh, uh, There's what am I here to do again? Travel or trade. I forgot, because it's been a while, because I keep dying. Two things here for, travel or trade, understand? Okay. I guess I'll see if he has anything when I'm controlling her. Yeah, I did do lightning. Ugh. Not that it did anything. Alright, I just want flasks from this guy, because I don't think I have any. And I want to be able to make some healing stuff. Oh, I'm looking at his- <laughs> my inventory. That- that would explain why I couldn't find any. You don't have any flasks, do you? Hmm. Dwarven mint. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if he's proud of it, I'll, I'll let him. I'll let him have it. I mean, I guess I could look into seeing if there are any weapons that would be particularly good for me. No, mine's better. Okay. I mean, this has better armor penetration and a higher strength modifier, but I don't know how that would be with the cost of damage. 
Skill and Sundry, a sprawling work of early Ferelden that attempts to unify many disciplines under one theory of mental capacity. Long censored by the Chantry, the book grants a greater capacity for general skills. Tome gives the reader one point to spend on a skill, but is rendered useless afterwards. Twelve gold. Dang. Alright, well, how about some armor? Um, dwarven armor is medium? I'm used to dwarven armor always being like the heaviest thing in these games. I guess may mostly just thinking of like Skyrim or whatever, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I don't want one of these things. Um, where those combat tactic talents come in handy? Um, I don't know what you're referring to with like the lightning thing. You will never penetrate Alistair's armor. Is that is that true? I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab this. And then I'm going to check the quest board, because what am I doing here? Travel to the trade route marked on your map and determine the fate of the border caravan. Or was this a random encounter? I think this was a random encounter. Alright, well I don't care for your goods. I'm leaving. So, this time we're going to make it there, right? No? No? We'll just quick save now that we're actually here. Oh wait, no. This is where we- Then these guys all just started fighting us. Can I- I want to fight them first. Why can I not- Why can't I shoot at them? Is there a button where I can start the combat? Because these are the dudes that are gonna attack me, aren't they? Why can't I shoot them while I have like the high ground and make them run to me? Maybe if I use like a special attack like crippling shot no come on I know these guys are evil all right well tell everyone else to hold I see yeah see these are the evil ones I knew it I knew it I knew it So, I mean, okay, you're there. I guess I'm gonna turn hold off, because that didn't help anything. Alright, everyone attack this. What is this symbol beneath me? Am I gonna die? I mean, yeah, almost inevitably, but. Morgan. You. That one. Because I think we're all attacking that one, basically. I have no idea what that red is. I have no idea. I won't tell Morgan what to do because she supposedly should heal either me or Alistair. Well... I mean, I can't say she did, and it looked like she healed Alistair there at the end. Liliana, you can do it. Nope, you're already dead. Alright. Alright. We are now playing this game on normal. Or easy. Because, I guess, you know, punch me in the face. I can't handle normal. Because this game is ridiculous as far as its difficulty is concerned. I will stand by that. I think this game is ridiculous. Dare I say stupid. As far as the difficulty is concerned. Okay. So, let's hold. But in the meantime, shoot them as they come to us. Hurry. Of course, I pick one that's not even going to come to us. We were just watching a history of DA Origins and they were saying the biggest problem it had was the difficulty spikes. I'm not gonna disagree. The combat is my least favorite part of the game so far. So. <laughs> yep. Get 
So if I have to play on easy so I can get the rest of the story, then I'll let you play on easy. Just screw it. Imagine playing this on the hardest difficulty. No thanks. Seriously though, like, screw you game developers. Why on earth did you think that that was acceptable for normal? And again, like, I could understand it if maybe I had been rushing through things and, um, you know, then was under leveled for this point. But I've taken on, like, every quest that I've been able to find. You know, Morgan has told me that I've missed some things. But seriously, that's, like, unforgivable. It's stupid. Normal should not be such a grueling experience for a new player. Feeling that for several days to come. I will absolutely maintain that. Anyway, reading chat a little bit more. Um, there's an achievement for beating the whole thing on Nightmare, and you've yet to do it in the 10 years you've owned the game. Yeah, I believe it. I absolutely believe it. Screw that. Well, I got a ring. Why am I glowy? What's making me glowy? Song of Valor, cool. I assume that's what it is. Marine potion and some silver, nice. Another ring. Aw. Poor murdered things. I mean, am I supposed to investigate anything in particular? I mean, I'm like supposed to determine the fate of this place, right? Doesn't seem like it was anything good. Am I just supposed to leave? Okay, can't read that. No, I don't want to venture forth. I don't feel like I accomplished what I came here to do. Unless I did it by murdering people and then having nothing else happen. I'll just assume that I'm done, actually. I'll just... Yeah. There are points where the game will offer you quests you aren't sufficiently leveled for. Companion quests, Chander's board, a lot of it having to do with the fact that you can pick or choose where you start the game and where to go first. The fact that that doesn't tell you is pretty shoddy. Yeah. Okay. Next, maybe refugees. Oh, shoot, I didn't save. I'm going to save as soon as it loads. Hmm. Oh, no. Did it save? I pressed the quick save button, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything. All right. Alistair, we're attacking people in the back first. There's a trap. Don't step on that. All right, I'm gonna kill this one now. Um, Liliana, you help me. Wait. This one? I hope it was that one. You think Liliana can disarm the traps? Maybe now's not the best time for that. I mean, like, if I can disarm them after the fact, and, you know, then have traps, cool. How did the wolves avoid all of those, by the way? Also, the fact that I don't have it on hold, and my character was being attacked and not attacking back, that's a little upsetting. Okay. Cool. Well, I have wolf pelts now. Are they... I guess I could probably sell them. And they stack, so I might as well take them. Like, I mean, if I take one, I might as well take all of them, right? Beware of wolves, clever girls. There. It's not the perfect time. I disagree. Yes, of course. <sighs> I get experience for doing it. I shall. This will take some time. On my way. I can't pick them up afterward, though. A little unfortunate. Rogues get to pick locks and disarm traps. A lot of early experience. Makes sense enough. Okay, can't go that way. Uh, pick up other things along the way. Okay. 
I'm just like waiting for one of them to accidentally step in one as she's like running to it. Just with the way the formations like sometimes seem to work out. Um, okay. Trap right ahead. I know, thank you. I can see that too. Trap right ahead. Well, there we go. We got a little bit of experience after killing the wolves, at least. I don't remember what's a good amount of experience. You know, I guess 30 highs or low. It's probably fairly low, but it's something, I guess. All right. Back to me. Just thinking, though, the fact, like, we, we completely lost on normal difficulty. And then on easy, not a single person went down. That's a dumb spike. I hate the combat, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just stupid. Okay. Um, let's do the thing where we all... Hold on. Don't actually go there. Let's do the thing where we all wait. And we fight. Oh, are these innocent people, some of them? They might be. They are. Never mind. Don't wait. Now I don't know why you decided to run all the way up here, Leliana, considering that you're an archer. But welcome to the fight, I suppose. Oh, that was unnecessary. I didn't know I see it. So low health. Reason they changed the fighting system up to time. Yeah, okay. I at first I thought it was weird when you like told me that. I get it now. When normal is too hard. Yeah. Get, go attack someone, please, Elandrea. Thanks, guys. I didn't realize they were only helping when they were immediately being attacked. And even after using that healing potion, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Sorry, just readjusting some things. I have to move. I had to move something over the watcher count so I wouldn't be depressed. All right. Let's get back into this and do that fight again. And maybe if I go around, I can get into a better position first. All right. They'll they'll find a way. They'll figure something out. Did I just get healed? I can't tell. All right, I'm gonna help with this dude before he does more damage. Oh yeah, I am getting healed. Thank you, Morgan. Okay. Sit 
Yeah, because this dude's still alive. Now he's dead. All right. Um, okay, so this fight's going better. I don't know why exactly, but it's going better. I mean, I feel like I gave my team even fewer instructions. So maybe I just need to let everyone handle themselves. Right? Maybe. Other than the combat in the game, is my day going all right? It's going all right, yeah. Nothing really good, nothing bad. Darn, he resisted. Can you resist this? Oh, good, he did that time. Yeah, that fight went so much better. No one went down. I don't know how or why, but... Ah, oh, it was much better than when I tried to lead people. I'll just let them do their own things from now on. Fair enough. Potent health poultice, cool. And a diamond. I like diamonds. They sell for money. In the meantime, loot some stuff. Very well. It is begun. I like all this money. It's making up for all the gold I spent on helping people in that town. So the thing with Alistair, his hits can mess up mage casters to a fair degree, also can disrupt their debuffs and such. Well, I hope he knows that. He should as a Templar, so I'll trust him to go and attack them. Because me controlling them shall be doesn't done. help. Alright. Any other shinies I'm missing? Maybe I should actually talk to the people I came here to help. Oh, thank you, Maker. Thank you, oh, thank, thank you. you, Maker. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Maker. Never mind. Thank you, thank Talking you. to them was absolutely pointless. Continuing on that quick saving, then continuing on. All right. Um, next we have. I don't know what's the. Why are some of them gold and some of them not? I guess I'll go to battlefield next. Oh, the gold ones are DLC. Thank you. Cue outro, go!